I'm gonna be making over this filing cabinet today. I've been after a filing cabinet to house, you know, business stuff, homeschool stuff. I've got it all sort of <clears throat> on this little table and then it spills out over onto the fireplace and it looks so messy. I just can't, I can't. <laughs> so I found this, what I need to do first is clean it so if you want to see what i end up doing to this thing stick around and let's get into it this is the luck my luck luck of the irish i'll tell you um i've been looking for a wooden one for the longest time i was in habitat the other day and i saw this and i was like oh i can't find a wooden one not any that's reasonable anyway so I may as well just go ahead and buy it so I, I did and then I went on Facebook that night and what it what popped up the very first thing in the corner a wooden file cabinet it was antique it was a, like an older one too I couldn't I couldn't justify spending money on a second filing cabinet when I only need one I was so sad. I just went on a little trip to Hobby Lobby and Lowe's with my daughter and I was wondering, I had in mind to do something, right? Because my inspiration for this is like those bohemian wood carved, like you, you'd see them in India or Bali cabinets with wood carvings on the front. So, that was my inspiration. I saw this at Hobby Lobby, it was 50% off, it was $50, so I got it for 25 bucks, and it has four, and it actually, like, I couldn't have found something more perfect, to be honest. It's crazy. But, what I need to do is take it out of the frame and just use the four squares. My other option is these. How cool are these, right? I was in Lowe's, I was going to get some trim, and I walked past and saw these. It's for, your, for a backsplash, anyway. So I thought that could be an option as well. If I, oh, you can't even see, there. That could be an option as well, and then possibly frame it out. Before I start fiddling around with the wood to go on the front, I need to give it a prime. And I have bought Rust-Oleum Primer, okay? It's fast drying, it's good for metal. Metal. So, and it's in a light gray, so. Look, oh, cracky. Off to a good start. I'm gonna prime that as soon as I find my mask. Last time you saw me, I was going to use the wood frame. I took it apart and I just couldn't make it work. So I'm gonna put it back together and use it as a frame. And then now use the, these panels which are so super inexpensive from my Lowe's. And I think I told you guys it was like $7.99 or something like that for, for one. So good. All right, I'm going to cut these down to size, glue them on. Just lining it up so I get sort of the same pattern on the edges so I'm gonna cut straight down there but first I'm gonna change my bloody battery again okay battery change 13 and a quarter you know what I'm just gonna eyeball it that always works for me
adhesive because it's good for metal and plastic. So again, this is a really good one for this project. This is the one I used on my mirror makeovers. I figured if it sticks mirrors, surely. I'm going to be layering DIY paint. I am going to be using Prairie Grey because I have a lot of that to cover up this primer that I've got on there. And it's going to be a good base anyway for the next layer. I'm going to be creating, should I tell you, <laughs> should I keep guessing? DIY paint in vintage linen. I'm dipping it in using a trip brush and using my lid to get some of it off. And I'm just going every which way. painting the vintage, the white linen rather, on there, I felt like it needed another colour so I picked up my sandy blonde and I started to do patches of the sandy blonde just so I could get more depth and more colour on there and then I ended up having to come in with my white linen and paint over, dry brush over the sandy blonde just so it all blended in together. Okay, I don't know if this is exactly what I want to do, but I'm going to give it a go on the top because it's smaller. <laughs> I'm using DIY in Sandy Blonde, which I did use on the draw front, dabbing it off and then dry brushing it on of the source.
sat here and looked at it for far too long. I'm not even going to tell you how long. <laughs> Trying to look in at Pinterest and decide what I want to do with it. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try it. And if I hate it, like I've said in the past, it's only paint. I will paint it. What I'm doing now is dry brushing sort of another color in here. It's called Faded Burlap. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry. Okay hot mess. Hopefully it's going to look good once I'm done. Big chalk paintbrush. This is the Annie Sloan. I love this brush. It's a great brush. We're going to blend all of these colors in. This is DIY paint. So it's reactivated with water. So it's got the prairie gray, the sandy blonde and Whatever color that was that I just put on. I would have told you about it a second ago. If I didn't, I'll put it up here. Now I'm gonna dip my brush. So I got my water and my prairie gray. We're oh. blending away and not pressing too hard because we only have really have one layer of the prairie gray on here. I'm just looking to blend. So I, I dip it in the water, then I dip it in the paint. Or I suppose it doesn't matter what order. Full confession, I did mean to come back earlier than this to do the blending, but it's so hot, I fell asleep on the lounge. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with how this is looking. This is totally me. This weathered, uh, no, prairie gray is the color that I used on the base of my table. And this is gonna be in the dining room because it's sort of dining room, my office, and the where I store some of the kids' books and files and that sort of stuff. So it's going to be in the room, it's all going to go together. It looks very rustic, very much like wood, you know, variations in colour like wood would look. <laughs> My hair. So yeah, I'm going to top coat it and after I've done that, I'm going to put some white wax on it. So you want to protect the DIY paint or any chalk paint really with either clear wax before you put a coloured wax on top or with a clear coat so I'm opting for clear coat this time. So let's spray it. I'm gonna have to turn off the air. Ooh. But alright, hang on I gotta set up my sprayer.
I was inspired by my friend Meg over on Lovely Jubbly Furniture. She's on Instagram, she's a YouTuber. I'm gonna link her channel below and the video that inspired me. She made over a filing cabinet and it was stunning. You guys have to go check it out after this video. DIY paint sticks like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> There's a saying I usually say, but I won't say it because I don't want to bleep it out and offend any of my viewers. So, um, DIY paint sticks to metal, plastic, wood, glass. Uh, there's a whole host of things that it sticks to and it is not a lie. It is stuck really well to the metal and to the plastic. So, I am thoroughly thoroughly pleased with this filing cabinet. I think it's going to look really nice in my dining room because that's where, you know, I, we have our dining room. It's my office next to the fireplace and then the filing cabinet there to house all the school stuff and business stuff. And it just sort of was spilling out. I've got a little table there and it's just not, it's useless. It's cute. It looks lovely, but it's useless. And so I'm getting rid of that and I'm putting this there and because it would just spill out over into my fireplace and mess and clutter make me makes me anxious so <laughs> I need something it all tidied and something to corral all of that paper mess that goes along with business and homeschool and life so this is my solution I hope you guys enjoyed the video it's pretty cool and I hope to see you guys on next week's piece. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and uh, that like button goes a long way into helping my channel and you know I would just love to have you along on the journey it is so much fun and there's a lot of makeovers coming your way for the rest of the year and if you don't know this already I'm Australian and me and my family are headed home at Christmas time so you don't want to miss out on that hit subscribe and notifications and you'll get uh, notified for all of that all right you guys I'm gonna go set this up in my office and clean up that area. I can't wait. I'll see you next week. Bye.